everybody, Elsa Barbie here with Lisa Kern, OPI's Global Artist. Thank you so much for joining us. We want to thank Colorbox Salon out here in Birmingham, Detroit for having us, along with Marlo Beauty Supply. We're super excited to be here. Um, I do want to invite each and every one of you to log on and to post where you're from, what city and state you live in, uh, tell us something about yourself, and more importantly, if you have any questions about OPI, go ahead and ask us now. So without further ado, I want to introduce, here's Lisa Kern. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So we're going to start with prep. Prep is very important in any service that you do. It allows the nail to actually, uh, whatever you have on the nail, where it be lacquer, gel color, or any of your enhancements, it's actually going to make sure that it stays on the nail. So with my lovely model right here, she has on a bubble bath. So we're going to go ahead and remove her bubble bath. We're going to use our expert touch remover. And I'm going to use my expert touch nail wipe. And I'm going to remove her bubble bath. So now what we're going to use is we're going to use our 240 grit edge file. You don't want to use anything lower than a 240 because it can actually do damage to the natural nail. You want to go side to side when you file. You want to make sure that you don't make any type of little creases in there where it can like chip or peel. Now I'm going to take my expert touch nail wipe. We're going to use our Swiss hand guard, which is our hand sanitizer. It also has an antiseptic in it as well. We're going to apply a little bit of this on and then now I'm going to go ahead and take my pusher this is my pusher plus by OPI it's our titanium one we're going to dip it into the Swiss hand guard we're going to push back her cuticles now we're going to take another one of our um, expert touch nail wipes we're actually going to put it in some NAS 99 this is 99% alcohol we want to make sure we get all the debris off the nail and make sure that there's no oil on that nail plate whatsoever. Now we're going to take our dexterity. Our dexterity is a two-sided tool. So this is a great tool to use. You want to take it and actually go around the cuticle area and down the side walls. This actually will help you from not having to nip so much because it actually takes whatever cuticles left on there that the pusher did not get. At this point you want to go ahead and take your nippers. These are our AccuNips from OPI. And you would go ahead and nip anything that you have on the nail that you need to nip off. And then I'm going to take my Expert Touch Wipe again with a little bit of NES 99. And I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing on that nail plate. Make sure you kind of go underneath that nail. Make sure there's no debris. Now I'm going to use my Bond Aid. My Bond Aid is going to rebalance that pH level of that nail plate. We're going to go down three strokes and then around the cuticle area. So that's it. That's right there is your nail prep. Once you do that, you should have no problem with your enhancements or gel color or even lacquer staying on the natural nail. So we have our OPI light. Uh, this has dual uh, curing. Uh, it actually has different settings. It has 15, 30, 45, 60 second. It actually has a tray in here as well. So the tray is removable if you want to do a pedicure. Uh, it actually helps for the nail placement. So no one has to worry about maybe the thumb rolling and not curing properly or maybe the pinky. You would just set your hand on here and it's actually placed on here so that way nobody has problems with not curing properly. It actually comes out as well so you can use it for pedicuring and also cleaning it and it just slides right back in there. So we're going to go ahead and show the one color application. So I have our base coat. This is our gel color original base coat. You just want to apply a very thin coat. You don't need anything too thick. You want to make sure you keep it off those side walls and the cuticle area. Make sure you cap those free edges and you want to go ahead and cure for 30 seconds. With this light, all of our gels you want to cure for 30 seconds is designed for this light. If you do have a different light, you might want to try maybe a 60 second or a 45 minute cure just to make sure that it cures properly. Also make sure you shake your gels. Before we started, I went ahead and shook all my gels that we were going to work with tonight. Make sure you shake them for exactly one minute. Uh, and I know as like manicurist, we think one minute's kind of just like this and that's it and we just start working. So you might want to set a timer just to make sure that you're doing the one minute because it does get you a little bit of work out during the day. All right, so now we're going to bring her up.
And I'm actually going to show you with strawberry margarita. We're going to do a very thin coat. And when you're applying this, if the color doesn't look like the color that you think it's going to look like, it will the second coat. You just want to make sure you apply this a very thin coat. And then when you apply that second coat, it will actually turn out. And then you want to make sure you cut those free edges. And we're going to cure this for 30 seconds back in the light. So is everybody having fun tonight so far? Do you have any questions? Um, actually, we have a couple of questions, but one of the first questions is, what if I don't have an OPI LED light, then how many seconds do I cure for? So like I said earlier, you want to make sure you cure it for about 30 se uh, sorry, 60 seconds, uh, 45 seconds, just to see uh, what your cure time should be, because when we design these, we design it for a whole system to be together. So if you do have a different light, just make sure you start out around 60 seconds to 45 seconds. And that question came from Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Okay, so I'm going to apply our second coat of strawberry margarita. And there again, it's a second thin coat. And as you can see, the color is coming true to color. And I'm going to make sure that I cap my free edges. Capping your free edges each time is definitely important because once you put it in the machine um, and you have it in there for 30 seconds, what happens is you want to think of as kind of like shrink wrap. So when you apply the gel color, it actually is going to shrink into the light. So if you don't cap those free edges, what happens is you're going to see like a separation and that can cause lifting and chipping. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and get re ready for my top coat. This is our OPI gel top coat. And this one as well, cures 30 seconds. I'm loving these questions, you guys. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply the top coat. You're gonna apply it thin. If you do happen to get anything on the skin, you wanna make sure that you wanna go ahead and use your um, cuticle wood stick and just go around the area where you may have gotten some color, maybe top coat or base, before you actually cure. Because once you cure, it's gonna be a little bit harder because it's actually gonna be cured to the skin. So if you can, just kind of wipe that off. If you need a little bit of extra, uh, you can actually you can actually take your corrector brush. This is our um, Artist Series corrector brush with a little bit of the NAS 99 and you can just go around and actually clean the area that you need to clean without putting too much of the NAS 99 on it uh, because we don't want to flood the color or any of the actual top coat or base coat uh, just because you can actually compromise uh, the gel at that point with putting the NAS 99 on there but we just want to clean around the area. And D Boy Sutton just asked, how long does a new uh, top coat take to soak off? Um, it's actually our original formula, and you'll see that it's, it, it can soak off anywhere between about 15 minutes, right, Lisa? Did mm -hmm. you move it? 15 minutes. You want to make sure that you take your 240 edge file. You want to make sure you break that free edge seal, and then you're going to go ahead and wrap it with the Expert Touch Remover, mm -hmm. uh, and then it'll come off like a whole sheet it'll just come off in about 15 minutes so there's no you like you don't need to scrape anything you never want to use a metal to the actual natural nail if there is a little bit left of the gel color you just want to make sure you use your cuticle wood uh, sorry cuticle stick and you actually just want to lightly press that off because we don't want to do na uh, damage to that natural nail whatsoever right and if you follow uh, Marlo Beauty Supply on Instagram uh, stay tuned because we, we're going to constantly be loading up content for you and we have a little tutorial about that too as well yes absolutely so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of our NAS 99 on our wipe and I'm actually going to wipe off the sticky residue that's on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our Pro Spa cuticle oil and I'm just going to rehydrate and give that little nail just a little bit of love. We want to make sure we show our love to our clients, right? Because, you know, they pay our bills. So we want and, to make sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> And Chelsea yes. Weber just asked, um, can you sometimes use three layers, two layers? Like, how many layers do you need? I think you're going to show that with some nail designs, right? Yep, you could do three layers if you need to. Uh, a lot of times you shouldn't need to, but if you're applying them extremely thin, then absolutely. Uh, sometimes when you're getting used to the gel color application, sometimes we actually apply a little bit too thin, kind of like when you're painting a wall uh, and the roller, say, doesn't have enough of the paint on it. 
uh, and you get those kind of streaks lines. So if you get that, absolutely, you could do three co colors if you need to. Uh, but once you get down your consistency, you would only need the two coats for the full coverage. Okay, so Great. there you go. That is our full coverage gel color application. So now we're going to start the fun. We are going to start with my nail art that I came up with. It's a 90s themed nail art. Uh, I have noticed that when I looked at nail art and looked at the runway, I picked out some really cool shades for the summer. Summer is always my favorite time uh, because they're bright. Uh, and right now the 90s uh, is when I was a teenager, so I'm a little old. Uh, so I'm bringing back my teenage years. Uh, so I'm going to show you some nail designs. Just remember, you can choose any colors you like. These are just some of the colors I chose. They're funny names. Uh, I'm sure you guys will enjoy them when I show you guys. So we're going to start out with her first design. This right here, I've already go ahead and prepped her. I've also put her base coat. Uh, this is Show Us Your Tips. Yes, that is definitely uh, one name that I will probably never live down. Uh, it's a funny name. So I've put one coat. Uh, and what I did is I did like kind of a French. So you could go up three quarters the way. You could go like a quarter would be more your French. So I'm just trying to show some of the negative space. I've noticed a lot of negative space out there. So now I'm just going to add one more coat of show us your tips. Now Kelly just uh, had a great question about any uh, gel color pulling back from the free edges. Yes. Actually Kelly, I'm not a very fast polisher, so I actually just do two nails at a time and then I flash cure to kind of lock that color in place. Yes. Uh, Lisa will be showing what flash curing yes. is, but just an FYI, if you're a hairstylist out there tuning in or somebody who just doesn't polish nails that quickly, I always start with two nails at a time flash cure it or yes. three nails at a time and flash cure it. Yeah, when you flash cure it actually sets it so it doesn't move on you. Um, so these designs that I created are for pretty much anybody. You can add a little bit more to it if you're more experienced. Uh, these would be great for a hairdresser that's just getting started that wants to play with some nail art or maybe someone just out of school uh, that just wants maybe a couple of tricks. Uh, this is a great nail art for kind of everybody. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my Alpine Snow and this is our Artist Series uh, Striper Brush. And I'm just gonna put a line. D-Boy Stutton is asking a ton of questions. Keep going, keep going with okay. those questions. So we're just gonna apply this line right here, just straight across. And this is where I'm gonna flash cure this. So I'm only gonna put her in there for about five seconds. Um, but I do wanna talk about, so when you take a uh, nail wipe, these are 100% lint free. You want to make sure when you're working with gels that it's something with lint free because lint will actually get in the gel and when it cures in the gel, it's stuck in the gel. So we want to make sure that everything's lint free. You just want to take a little bit of the NAS 99 and you want to clean your brush. So in between making nail art designs, you want to make sure that the brush doesn't have any of the other color that you've been using because we don't want to contaminate the colors. You want to make sure you fold the brush uh, and wipe out. You never want to take your brush and go like this. It'll ruin your bristles. So you won't have that nice straight line. So I'm going to bring her out and now I'm going to take some, a little uh, gelato on my mind. And just so everybody knows, these are not the newest collection. These are our iconic colors. So these are the colors that have been released. Um, in fact, for those of you who don't know, OPI actually releases um, a couple collections every year. We have fall, winter, spring, summer. We're always going to have that beautiful holiday collection that I'm sure you all know with the really pretty golds, reds, and glitters. And then we have a beautiful summer collection that always comes out. So uh, just stay tuned because we're always coming out with more colors and more colors available in OPI lacquer and in gel color. Absolutely. So now I'm going to use my top coat and we're going to go ahead and top coat this as soon as it's cured. Is there any other questions? Uh, let's see. And remember, you can use any color you want. These are just colors I picked out. So you can definitely choose any colors you want. If you want to do it with yellow, if you want to do it uh, with a different type, orange or purple or blues. Blues are really pretty, especially those tilly blues. Um, you could add glitter to this if you want to add glitter. A lot of people love glitter. Uh, it just is up to you how you want to actually uh, make this your own. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of top coat on there. Make sure you cap those free edges. And we're going to cure that for 30 seconds. Like I said, don't forget in another light, it may take 45 to 60 seconds for that cure time. Um, a couple of people have been asking about our colors as far as how many colors do we have. We have over 160 iconic colors constantly adding in more colors as well. And the other thing I want to talk about is the fact that everybody says, oh, we've discontinued those colors, right? At OPI, we always say that we've retired the colors, not really discontinued the colors. 
Yep. Because you have to kind of um, retire them to bring new colors in because as fashion changes, the color might change just a little bit as well. And then just think of it this way, at least you get another funny name, right? Um, I know some of my favorites, like the Pompeii purple is my favorite uh, for the summertime. I love that purple hue with a little bit of the pink. So now I'm gonna take my NAS 99 and I'm just gonna wipe off her sticky residue. And then that right there is just the one simple design. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move to the next one. So this one right here is gelato in my mind. So what I've done is I've kind of split the nail in half. So I'm gonna do my second coat of gelato on my mind. Now with this right here, you can get a really good straight line with applying it with our brushes. Our brushes have the capability to be able to do a really nice fine straight line. If you feel like you've messed up and you need to correct it, you could always take your striper brush with some of the color and actually make a straight line. You could also use some of the NAS 99 and actually clean that up if you wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and have her cure this for 30 seconds. So while she's curing, we had a great question from Phyllis Carlson. Thank you so much, first of all, for tuning in. Uh, what, what would be the cure time for uh, a, in a UV light for gel color? In a UV light, it would be one minute um, because these are designed for LED. Um, so you want to do at least one minute for the UV light. Um, but you also want to test it to make sure because with the UVs, I know that they have a different, uh, you can change the bulbs. So you want to make sure your bulbs are actually up to date and uh, working properly. So you might want to make sure you check that out just to make sure the one minute is the correct timing for you. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of our um, strawberry margarita and I'm just going to make a couple of lines here. And don't forget, you know, make, make nail art your own. Nail art's supposed to be fun. And make it your own. Um, you can do whatever you want. So I'm stopping, I'm kind of leaving a gap here. And this is where I'm gonna flash cure. So I'm actually gonna put her hand in there just for a few seconds. I'm gonna make sure that I take my NAS 99 and wipe off that brush, because I don't wanna mix any of these colors. And then I'm gonna actually take crawfish for compliment and get that ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring out her hand. And then over here, I'm just gonna make a really cute little line over here where some of that free space is. And I'm just gonna cure her again for about five seconds. And it sets that. So while that's curing, what is NAS 99? So NES 99 is 99% 99 alcohol um, because if you go to another store and you get um, alcohol, like say at the drugstore, it's 70% alcohol and the rest is actually oil and water. So with us, we want to make sure that we have no oil whatsoever on that nail plate um, because it's kind of like when you have a canvas. So if you have a canvas and you have oil on the canvas and you're trying to paint it, uh, then it actually won't stick. So you wanna make sure that the nail plate th is actually completely clean so everything will adhese to it. Thanks, Don. that was a great question. So now I'm gonna take my top coat and I'm gonna top coat my design, make sure you cap those free edges and I'm gonna have her cure for 30 seconds. So it's very simple when you're setting up uh, to do nails with uh, OPI, we use NAS99, we use Expert Touch Remover, we use our um, Expert Touch Whites, uh, and then we also use our Bond Aid. So that's what you need for your setup for your nail prep. And then when she comes out, we're just gonna take one of the whites again, and we're gonna take our NAS99 and take off that little sticky residue. Okay, and then that design is completely done. Now we're going to go to the third design. So as you can see, I've already prepped this. This has the base as well as a half moon with crawfish uh, for a compliment. So I'm actually going to do another coat of crawfish for a compliment. And like I said, if you mess up and you actually get it on the skin, just make sure you use a little bit of NAS9 to get it off or use that cuticle stick and just make sure you get it off. One thing that I love about gel color, when you're doing nail art, it's one of my favorite systems because your possibilities are endless of what you decide you wanna create, number one. Number two, if you do happen to mess up, all you have to do is just take some of your NAS 99 and you can actually uh, wipe it off and start over. 
um, but you can still keep part of your design. So when you're doing the flash cures, if you have something that you like, and let's say you're doing another line and that line actually doesn't come out perfect like you think it should, you can actually wipe that off and it keeps the one line that you flash cured in place and then you can just start over. So I'm just gonna flash cure her because I'm gonna actually put a couple more little lines on here. I'm gonna take some of our Alpine Snow and I'm just gonna make a small line here. And then I'm gonna make a larger line, a little longer line down at the bottom. Can you review again really quick? Nicole just asked again. She's just tuning in from uh, Michigan actually. Uh, wants to know about the flash curing again with your nail designs? Yep, so um, I'm gonna have her cure that for 30 seconds because I finished. So flash curing is when you're doing a nail design, you don't need to cure for the whole 30 seconds. If five, four, five seconds is fine to flash cure, what it does is when you're putting on a design, it'll actually keep it on there so it doesn't move. So a lot of people that are just starting out uh, with nail art, it's a lot easier for them to maybe flash cure each little process. I'm getting ready to do another design on the next nail where you're gonna see I'm gonna use flash curing a lot in that because there is a lot of different designs uh, with different lines of different shades. So I wanna make sure that they stay where I put them so I don't have to worry about any of them running uh, or me not going fast enough uh, so it doesn't stay on there properly. So now what I'm going to do is um, she cured for 30 seconds. I'm just going to put on our top coat and as you can see these are really uh, a lot of the negative space. When I was looking up nail designs I noticed that negative space was really still big uh, right now and then like I said it's the 90s inspired where we had those um, I don't know if you remember some of the shows back in the day where they wore all the clothes that had the different designs on it. That's kind of where I got my inspiration because it's kind of, um, you know, very lined uh, octagons and, and shapes like that. So that's where I kind of got my inspiration just to kind of do it. And as you can tell, something so simple your clients will love. You can charge an extra 2 to $3 per nail for nail art uh, depending on what you do. If you... Um, add stones to it. Of course you want to add a little bit more money because your stones actually cost. So now I'm just cleansing the tacky residue off the nail. Can we just talk really quick about the gel color? Somebody asked how much more can you charge in a salon for a gel color application versus a lacquer application? So lacquer application is around $19. Uh, with gel color it's about $29. Um, and then if you do the nail, like I said, you can charge up to 2 and $3 per nail. So for instance, I'm doing four services on her of a, you know, a design, so I can charge an extra two to $3 per those nails. So you can actually build up more income uh, by doing the gel color. And like you can see, it's, it's a very simple process to it. It's not very hard. Uh, for those of you that are out there that are hairdressers, this is something that you can actually offer your clients uh, when they're processing their color or have a conditioning treatment on. You can actually offer this as well. It's something very simple that you can do as well. So with this one right here, I've went ahead and I've put um, my base on. So now this is a little bit more tricky design. So I'm actually gonna take some Alpine Snow and I'm just gonna go around here. And Lisa, around her what fridge. color are you using on your nails? What color do you have on your nails? <laughs> so I have on my nails, uh, Do You Take Layaway? Um, it's one of my favorite nude shades. Uh, we do have several different nude shades, but I do like this one, I think it kind of blends with my yeah. skin tone. That's from our whole Hawaii collection. Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna make this, like tip this, and then I'm gonna go on the top. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of white up here. And then this is where I'm gonna flash cure this because I wanna make sure this design stays. And what I've noticed too with doing nail art, we're gonna go ahead and stick that in there for five seconds. What I've noticed with doing nail art is it doesn't always have to be perfect. So with nail art, you always think of when you look at art and you think about it, everything has to be completely perfect. And it's not. If you look at any kind of art, like a Picasso or anything, everything's not perfect. So don't stress about it if you kind of mess up. Like I said, this is something very easy to fix, but don't stress if you mess up. You can always fix it if you need to. And your customer will absolutely love it. And Lisa, we have a question actually from Susan Perry, and she wants to know what is the difference between color blocking and negative space? 
it's pretty much the same thing. It just depends on who you're speaking to. It's kind of like the stiletto and the ballerina now. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just different areas, call it different, um, the different names. So now I'm gonna take some of our um, strawberry margarita and I'm just gonna make this line and I'm kind of doing a rimming effect. Um, I really think that the rimming is really cool on the nails. So I'm just gonna go around the base of the free edge and just kind of bring it up. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna go on the top. I'm just going to follow where the alpine snow is. And I'm just going to kind of bring this down. I'm not going to meet them, but I just kind of want to bring it down. Like I said, you design this however you want. I'm just kind of giving it just a different outlook on it. And then I'm going to flash cure this as well for five seconds. Just to kind of set that because I don't want it to go anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and have her go in there for five seconds, clean my brush off, because I don't want that to go into a different color. And then now I'm going to get gelato on my mind. And I'm just going to come around here and I'm just going to make a line. Just wherever you want to make that line. And I'm going to make one up here. And they're not going to match perfectly. It's not supposed to. It's just supposed to give, just add a little color. Okay, I'm going to flash cure that for five seconds, four or five seconds. And then I'm going to get me, show me your tips. One of my favorite colors. I definitely got a lot of compliments when I wore it. And I'm going to bring two lines down. And with this color, you may want to do two coats of it. If you need to, that's fine. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. Like I said, you can add a little glitter to this. Okay, I'm going to flash cure that for just a few seconds. So Dawn had a really good question. I think we covered this earlier. And Dawn, thank you so much for tuning in today on our Facebook Live with Marlo Beauty. Uh, the question was, how much would you charge? And I think we covered anywhere between two to four, two to five dollars. Yes. It's really going to depend on the, on, on really, how do you know what to charge? So it depends on how much time that you're going to spend on the nail, what the design inquires. If it has embellishments, your embellishments cost you money. So you want to make sure you add that factor into it as well. Uh, with these simple designs that I made, I would probably say two, three dollars at the most. If I was going to add some embellishments to it, then I, of course I would charge maybe five or six dollars per design. Okay, so now I'm just going to take crawfish for a compliment and I'm going to do my last line in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and have her cure that for a full 30 seconds to make sure that the whole design is cured properly. And then what do we have next? Top coat? Yes, so next I'm going to uh, apply our top coat, 30 awesome. second cure. Pretty simple. And as you can see, it did take a couple minutes just to do the four designs, but you have mm -hmm. to remember when you're in the salon, you're going to charge accordingly, and yes. they go really fast because you're going to be working on two hands. Can you talk a little bit yes. about that, Lisa, about how you like your clients working? So on top I of like light? my client on top of the light. Um, you don't have to, you could put the light to the side, but just remember that when they're positioning themselves, it may be a little uncomfortable to go like this. I like it because when I have her hand, I have full control. Uh, what we talked about earlier was the gel color. You know, if you happen to get any type of, um, you know, like something from a sweater, like a little piece of lint or anything, what happens is, is it gets embedded. So what I like is I like to have control of my client's hand. So I like to have them right here at me so I can control them. They can't reach in their purse, look at their cell phone. They can't touch their hair. They can't like roll up their sleeves. I like to make sure that I have control. So I like to work on top of the light. Some people don't, some people need more space. It's just totally whatever you prefer. I just like that control. I'm a little control freak. <laughs> and we have Dee Boyce Dutton, actually who lives here locally, asking yes. about the removal again. And I'll answer that. Actually, if you, da if you um, follow on Instagram, Marlo Beauty Supply, we're actually gonna be posting some tutorials on removal, on lacquer application, another gel color application, and of course, nail prep, which is really important. Yes. And we're actually gonna highlight the two differences in the nail prep from lacquer to gel color. So stay tuned on Instagram. Absolutely. So now I've finished her nails. So now what I'm going to do is like, again, I'm going to use our Pro Spa Cuticle Oil. 
And I'm gonna give those cuticles just a little bit of love. So we're gonna rub that in, give her a little massage. Okay, and then she's completely done. And we've already pre-done this hand earlier, so here's your designs. And like I said, you can charge two to three dollars. Very simple. You can add a little bit more technique to it if you'd like. Uh, what I found was that the simple, the better uh, when it came to the runway and the way that nails looked. I also, I also have a nail uh, palette that I used with a design with just some different shades. So you can see that I used on this one, I used a yellow. So definitely choose whichever color you choose um, on your color palette. Like even uh, Gelato on my mind was a little bit lighter than the teal I had chosen earlier. So just think about what you want, what your clients are needs, what kind of what they wear. Um, it's just totally up to you. Make it your own. That's what it's all about and have fun with it. Um, that's definitely what you want to do. Don't stress yourself out with doing some nail art. Just have fun with it. Great, thank you everybody for all your questions. They were great and I will thank tell you. Thank you so much. Yeah, if we didn't answer your questions tonight, definitely um, keep them coming. We'll be yes. online for a couple uh, more minutes and we'll answer your yes. questions then. Uh, but we'd like to thank uh, Beauty uh, Salon, <laughs> Salon. <laughs> Hi Mike, I'm so excited about Beauty. I know, sorry. <laughs> We'd like to thank Marlo uh, Beauty Supply, supply yeah. and uh, Lisa you. Kern, our OPI thank Global Thank you so artist. much. And please check out OPI Education app. Yes. Uh, there is definitely more designs on there as well. Um, there's actually step-by-steps for all of our services that we offer. Please check that out. There's also great, uh, you can ask expert questions, uh, but there's tons of videos of step-by-steps mm -hmm. of everything that we did today um, and definitely different nail art designs that you can practice with as well. So thank you so much for having me thank today. Thank you so much. And once again, thank you so much for this beautiful Absolutely. salon color Gorgeous. box. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. So if you're in the t if you're in town, we highly recommend that you come by. Absolutely, yes. The pedicure chairs are amazing. So <laughs> <laughs> definitely Take try to get one down. of those. Yes, Seriously. please enjoy. So, thank, thank you so, you so much, much for tuning in. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.